Walking through setting up the product-based recurring, also known as a membership product inside Kajabi. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create a new product, or if you already have an existing product, then you will obviously not be creating one at this point. Now, here is a decision point that I don't want you to stress about because the no matter what you choose at this very first layer, you're always going to be able to adjust and update. So we are going to start off very, very simply and we're going to just create the mini course. All right. So we click on view and when we do, Kajabi will give us some information about the mini course product blueprint. We're just going to create generate the mini course product. Now, for purposes of this video, I'm going to call it testing product based whoop, recurring model. All right. Now, when I click save, the product is going to be created. Again, I can add more categories. I can add more posts. We're going to just keep it very easy as we're getting started. So here is your product. Now this, when you're using the product based recurring model, anytime you add content, you're putting it into the same product. So the book that you are writing is going to get larger and larger as you add new chapters. Those chapters being what we talked about, the categories, the information that you're putting into your product. So now that you have the product, now we're going to, we're not doing the content creation at this point. So the next step is going to be to create the offer for this product. So go ahead, pause the video now if you would like. And once you have your product made, then you can come back to this video. All right, now we need to create the offer. So you wanna click on offers on your dashboard and you're going to create a new offer. Again, one product, one offer when you are doing the product-based recurring model. So I'm gonna keep it consistent. I'm gonna name it the exact same thing. So testing uh, ooh, product based recurring model. Now here we want to choose the product that we're using. So here testing product based recurring model. That is again one bucket. We're keeping everything in terms of access related to this one product. Now what we're going to do here you can obviously you need to customize this entire offer checkout page. This um, video, I'm just going to show you the pricing option. So on the free price, click edit the price and we want the recurring subscription. Again, that means just like gym access, as long as someone is paying for access, they may use the gym equipment. They may be inside with access to your content as part of the recurring business model that you're creating commonly known as a membership. So we're going to say the payment amount is $20 and you choose your currency. You choose the frequency that billing is happening. We're going to keep this easy. We're going to leave it as one time and you have the choice of weekly, monthly, or annually. We're going to keep it at monthly right there. If you want to offer a trial period, this is where you would set this up. I am a huge fan of the trial access period. It really helps with making sure that the people that are coming in have a chance to see what is in your gym. What is in this? Because no matter what we do on a sales page, there's nothing like being able to go inside the gym, check out the equipment, go to the classes, see, do you, you know, do you like what's in there? will really help with your um, churn rate. So the trial period is where you set that. And then you can set the setup fee. Now, this again, you could leave it at zero. So it, if you did a trial and the setup fee, that would be a free trial. You could also do a dollar trial period. You could set it for a 14 day trial, they pay a dollar. 
or a 14 day trial and they pay $5. So Kajabi gives you all this flexibility and it is so easy. I'm gonna keep this, no trial period, no setup fee, but know that you have that flexibility and this is where you can have, um, you set all that. So we're going to click save. Now we have our offer, our single offer, that is going to include our single product for the product-based recurring model. Now you will create the sales page. So underneath website, you wanna click on page builder. When you click on page builder, this gives you full creative freedom. So you can click new page. And again, this is assuming that you've not created anything. If you have already created pages, obviously you would just edit those pages. But we're gonna click new page. When you do that, you have all of your choices for the pre-existing themes. Again, total freedom. You can change anything that you want. I am going to use Premiere. We're gonna click Get Started, which gives us our Premiere page. I do use an abbreviation, so I do Sales Page. And then, uh, as you can see, name of, which, oh, we should keep it here. Here we go, Testing Product-Based Recurring, all right? And the reason that I use the abbreviation SP at the beginning is so that it's very easy to sort from that page builder section. Inter it keeps all my sales pages together, my thank you pages. That's why I do that. For me personally, I do not care that it affects the URL of the page. That is not a big deal um, in my operating of a business. But if you're very concerned about the URLs, then obviously you would not use the abbreviations there. So here is our sales page that we're going to create. When you click on settings, I want you to be aware of that there is a preset. So all of these are pre-built options that if you apply them, they will uh, format the page. So if you want a long form sales page, all you have to do is click apply. Kajabi wants to make sure, yes, I want you to override what is currently on this page and then they will rebuild it. If you want to start with a blank slate and not have to delete or hide things, you would choose the blank preset. So here, underneath Hero, this is where anytime there's a call to action, you can set that to go to the offer checkout page so that people can buy your product-based recurring purchase. So here we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you an example of one and then uh, we'll be finished. The here, it set it, go to a URL. I want you to click go to a checkout page. When you set that, you're gonna choose the page that you want. I prefer to have it open in a new window just so that if people click over and then wanna go back and look at something, they haven't lost the page. You have total freedom on choosing what you would like. So now that this is done, obviously you're going to customize this entire sales page that you've done using Page Builder. And what you wanna do when you're ready to share it, click on details in the upper right-hand corner. This is the, if you wanna say the backside of the sales page where it will have the title, it will have the URL, you will have the, the visibility, whether it's published or in draft. And this part right here for SEO and sharing, this is really important. This is where you wanna put the title of your page, the description and the image, so that let's say you are sharing it on Facebook, that it will populate and share the details that you want. When you have everything all set and done, then you can copy the URL link and that you can put in your ads, you can put in your call to actions when you're doing live streaming, you can share that wherever it goes. So if you have any questions on how to set up the product-based recurring model through Kajabi, please leave them in the comments. I am more than glad to help. And remember, this is fun, but learn it and enjoy it at your own speed. Have a great day. Bye-bye.